you do not even know how entangled you are in the world until you choose to get unentangled to follow Jesus Christ. Entanglements are things that hold your heart and mind, all your attention to this world. They're things that keep your heart away from the truth of Jesus and just keep you busy doing mundane things that seem important today, but in a few days, you won't even remember that you did. Things that are just incredibly unimportant for eternity. Jesus calls each and every one of us to things that are really important, that will matter in 10 years, 20 years, in a 100 years, and in a 1,000 years from today. He calls us to bear good fruit. When this whole world is focused on the news, on entertaining themselves, on the clothes they will buy, on just all the things that they are doing in this world, Jesus Christ wants us focused on living holy, being pure, loving one another, and loving the Lord our God with all of our heart. If we do that, we can bear good fruit for his kingdom, eternal fruit. Our souls were made to live for all eternity. We weren't, we weren't made or designed to live for all the mundane things, to keep our focus on all the things of this world. I'll tell you that it's harder than you think to break free from all of the ensnarements, all of the entanglements of this world. And you just really won't know how many things you're entangled with until you try to break free of those things. For myself, I was a pastor, so my entanglement was my church, my friends, being part of camps and worship music. Being part of all those things basically had me. It was my life. I lived to be part of the church and to have fun there. Many other things will ensnare you, though. Entertainment will be an entrapment. All your debt. Basically, you start to live just to be able to pay off your debt. You end up going to college, buying a house, buying a car, getting married, doing all those normal things, and suddenly you're just working to pay off your debt. You can't give any extra to the Lord and his work because you're just so focused on paying off all your own debt, all the things that you are enslaved to. People are enslaved to many things. Most people walk around... And they're only focused on the things of this earth. They could care less about the things of Jesus Christ and what he's saying today. I encourage you to get out of the world. Work as hard as you can to get out of all the enslavements, all the entrapments of this world, which include but are not limited to financial debt, bad relationships, churches, thinking that you have to go to church and be a part of that church in order to hear from God, that's an entrapment all of its own because they will keep you derailed from following Jesus for years and years, thinking that you're growing in your faith by giving money to the church, going on mission trips, engaging in all those relationships at the church, but you'll get more and more entrapped in the world, entrapped with bad friendships, bad relationships with people, whether they're in your family or just your friends. The things that also entrapped me were things like music, sports and hobbies, things that I just like to do in the world, but kept my mind off of the things that Jesus was actually telling me that I needed to do. I'm not saying here that If you follow Jesus, you can't have any fun and that he would never have you, you know, do something fun with a friend. But most people in this world are addicted to just their telephones, their TV, to their sports, to all their hobbies. They just want more and more education to appear more and more educated, but they don't want to grow in the truth of Jesus Christ to follow him and to obey him. Following Jesus is serious business, and you can't even hear from him or walk with him in the light of the truth if you're enslaved to this world and entangled by all the lusts of this world. All the lusts of this world will cause you to sin and to be separate from Jesus Christ. You need to work with all of your heart to break free 
from all the entrapments of this world. There are so many of them. If you start praying and asking Jesus to help you get out, to be able to see straight, to get out of the world, to get out of sin, to leave bad relationships behind, to leave all the things that are like parasites in your life, causing you to be constantly spiritually sick, to get those out of your life. Jesus will help you, but you have to be serious to come out of the world and to get those things out of your life. So the question is, are you wanting to be unentangled? Do you want the freedom that is in Jesus? Or are you totally content living in Egypt, living in bondage, living in Babylon, like how the people of old who were trying to follow the Lord were just totally enslaved, totally kept in the things of this world because they refused to leave ungodly things to follow the Lord. We need to be the children who are free, free from sin, free from all the perversions of this world, free to do the will of Jesus without the entanglements of this earth. Get unentangled. Get your focus on Jesus and become productive for him. Bear good fruit because the axe is already at the base of every tree in this world that does not bear good fruit. May the grace of Jesus be with you.